Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Mo, and today I'm gonna to be comparing the different audios that you can capture with your C100 Mark II for a quick run and gun style shooting. I'll be comparing the audio that you can get straight from the actual body of the C100 Mark II versus the audio that you can capture using the microphone on the top handle of the C100 Mark II versus a Sennheiser shotgun microphone. I'm gonna be using this while I speak so that I can hear myself talk. Um, that way I can monitor the level, make sure they all have a fair fighting chance because obviously the shotgun microphone is a lot closer to my mouth than the camera and the top handle. Right now what you're actually hearing me on is the Sennheiser microphone and that's what it sounds like. I have it on manual levels so I'm watching the levels as I'm speaking to you and as well as I'm hearing it and it doesn't sound, it sounds pretty okay. I'm not going to be editing the audio regardless, I'm just going to let you hear it as it is. I'm probably going to color grade the image a little bit but I'm not going to um, edit the audio at all whatsoever. So what you're hearing right now is the shotgun microphone and that's what it sounds like. The microphone is approximately this much away from my face i guess it's right here above the camera um so now i'm gonna be switching to the internal microphone which is the one on the handle of the uh, c100 mark ii hello 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 all right so hello 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 too loud no it's okay all right so now this is the microphone that's actually on the handle the hand the top handle of the c100 mark ii it's not as good obviously as a shotgun microphone but it is 100 percent usable in my opinion uh, if you're out in the field and you need to record something really quick i don't think this is bad at all um that's what it sounds like again i'm um, have it on manual level so i can monitor it myself and i can hear it over here it doesn't sound that bad Obviously, there's a lot more background noise than there was with the shotgun microphone. But with that being said, it's not that bad. I just wanted to hear what the actual preamp on the C100 sounds like. And it's really easy for you to adjust it manually because they have the two little wheels on top. So now, finally, I'm going to be using the one that's actually on the camera itself. So if you take the shotgun microphone away, if you take the top handle away, the C100 Mark II body itself has an additional microphone. And they did that, I think this time around, is in case like you have the camera on a steady cam or something and you stripped it from all the little extra stuff, you're still able to capture some audio for reference and I think that's great. So now we're gonna hear that to see what that sounds like. See, the only thing right now that I don't understand so far, maybe somebody can help me in the comment section down below, how can I control the levels on the microphone if There's a uh, cops outside. How can I control the levels on the microphone that's on the camera? Like how can I go higher or lower? Or is it always on auto? Can I even use manual levels on this microphone? I'm not sure. But it does sound really, really far and really, really echoey. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually, this is, this is my hand and it's actually bent. So it's not even a straight two feet. I'm, I'm, I think I'm about, 20 or 18 inches away from the camera I'm using an 18 millimeter wide angle lens and I'm not sure why but it doesn't it it's so echoey it's so far away but if you know you need it because you need to record some kind of audio that you can sync later it still works it's better than you know having no audio at all I actually really like this so quick reference this is what that sounds like a, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is what the handle sounds like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And this is what the shotgun microphone sounds like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 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 I'm sure you hear the AC in the background. I actually left it on on purpose. I did not want to turn the AC off or the fan. I actually have both the AC and the fan on on purpose because I wanted to see with like lots of background noise, would you be able to pick it up? Um, what I'm trying to figure out is, can I get away with just recording audio with the handle, which is this option right here. I just wanted to know if I can get away recording with this option right here. Like if this was, if I didn't have the microphone with me and I'm out 
you know, um, shooting, can I, can I use this microphone for anything and then get something usable? I mean, like if I'm out on the street and recording something quick, um, like run and gun, documentary, anything like that, can I use this microphone and still get away with it? Or is it really bad? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is, um, I, did, I, I couldn't find anything like this online, so I decided to film it myself because, you know, that's what I was looking for and hopefully maybe I can help somebody else out that's looking for a similar type of video what it really sounds like um, if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because next I'll be doing a video comparing mp4 and AVC HD um, with heavy editing so I'm gonna try to get good lighting not like this it's kind of dark in here but I'm gonna try to get good lighting and um, use the base ISO 850 and just really push the image with editing like something ridiculous like trying to put like a really really aggressive LUT on there to see what it would look like see if I can like crack the image and I want to see which one can hold better the AVC HD or the MP4 because from what I've read so far the MP4 is just as good as the AVC HD but I'm not sure if um, if that's really true so I'll do that test next Alright, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm Mo, and until next time, peace.